All right, y'all, welcome to Clicks and Sticks TV. We're looking here at Bones, trying to bring you a little bit of content on this new Halloween character. I'm kind of hyped about this guy. I cannot lie. Halloween right around the corner. I think this is going to be some really good content to add to the game. Add in a little bit more spookier content. Got Pakur in here. I'm expecting to see something a little bit more zombie esque and dark out of this character. Really think I'm going to enjoy it. <laughs> now, available in Dual World. All right, I'm hyped. Let's find this guy. First, let's take a look at some of these new cards I heard that we're going to be adding to the set. Alright. That looks like that could be pretty good in maybe a magnet deck being rock influenced. What else we got here? Some interesting effects. Alright, now let's go after that Bones. Alright, more zombie cards that you can get off of Bones. Nothing really jumping out to me right now as of something that's going to stand out. We got the castle, 1930. Defense is going to be really strong. But I hope there's something else for this guy. Pump, Pump King is a common. Call the Mummy is pretty good if you're running some zombie decks. So we got here a few sleeves and it's looking like it all right just a little bit of zombie support i can dig let's go hunting for some bones i'll be right back with you as soon as i find them Now, I'm not joking about how long this took me to find Bones. I got this all pre-recorded at this point due to the fact that I did not know that you had to be logged in underneath the Yu-Gi-Oh! Dual World and not GX. I have to be quite honest with y'all, I have not logged into the regular Dual World since GX came out. I've been trying to get my Jaden, Yuki, all the way up to level 40. And then following, I'm trying to get those Cyber Angels, that Tier 0 deck. So we're going to be starting off here strong with the deck you see on the right. It's a very simple Paladin deck just to push him out and stop a lot of his attacks with his cage card and his calls of the mummy. With Paladin being able to discard from a hand to stop any magical card from being played gonna silence his deck really really quickly now if y'all have not picked up paladin i encourage you to it also comes with the buster blader fusion as well that gets powered off of your opponent's dragons very strong card very versatile take a look at that guy one last time At this point, I pretty much have the duel locked down. I have the strongest monster in the field and nullified all of his magic cards. I will be trying to bring out a level 30 and 40 video of showing you how to farm him. Unfortunately, I'm not the best farmer. But it's looking like it's definitely going to be a paladin deck with a passageway. And your favorite doubling monster attached. But this is some of the content that I love to be bringing towards this channel. So we do appreciate any likes, follows, and subscriptions down at the bottom. If you guys are active on Twitter, I do have an account set up as well. That is Clicks and Sticks TV. 
We appreciate y'all for stopping in as I finish off Bones. I was really kind of hoping that he would also have better cards to acquire. Unfortunately, it looks like we're just going to get our four set of those Punk Kings. And that guy right there is the only two that I'm going to be looking to pick up from this event. And I'm very... And I believe it's very unfortunate that they did not add him as a playable character. I thought that his abilities would have came in pretty clutch. It seems like they're just going to leave all that for Bakura. Keeping up with his zombie style of gameplay. Looks like I picked up the Ghoul. Another great support card for zombies. Not going to break the game though. Ready, start, meme. Alright y'all, thank you again for stopping in. Please do add to the comments section any deck ideas that you'd like me to go after. I'll be trying to climb a ladder late in this session. <laughs>